let's talk about scrubbers you know if you have never heard about scrubbers and if you are about to join ship then you might have heard something i am or 2020 and because of that many changes have taken place and among them is many ships are installed with scrubbers and depending upon different requirements and depending upon the cost depending upon the feasibility depending upon the space which is there so depending upon different factors so what has happened different types of systems are used on board ship so we will try to see what are the different types obviously design and other things will vary but the concept on which it is based is you know other four things which are there we have the open loop system closed closed loop system we also have the hybrid system and we have the dry scrubbers so we'll see what is open loop system what is closed loop system and uh, what is hybrid and what is dry if you want to know more about this please watch the entire video hello everyone my name is Hasten Dias and you like basic marine engineering let's discuss open loop system first so open loop system what is there is we have lot of seawater which is used so we are using the alkalinity of the seawater and for that reason we need sufficient alkalinity so certain areas it might happen that you might not have sufficient alkalinity and you might not able to use the open loop system okay what happens is there is nothing much is done we have the water which is flowing pass through the scrubbers wash the exhaust and then leave the system some amount of sedimentation some amount of concentrate will be removed out depending upon system to system and uh, what can happen is it requires sufficient alkalinity so if your alkalinity is not proper if your alkalinity is not proper then what can happen is you know you might not be able to do the job so that time you might have to change over change over in the sense you will have to change over to lsmgo otherwise you can use normal low sulfur your hfo whatever hfo is there you can use that and that will be able to you know after washing that will bring down your sulfur content otherwise what will happen is you will have to change over to lsmgo also in open loop system what happens is whenever you reach ports you know any port when you go you will have to do the changeover or within whenever you are in special areas you will have to do the or eka areas you will have to do the changeover to lsmgo so again then there is the headache of you know changeover number of times you will have to do changeover and carrying different types of fuel so that you can use uh, depending upon where you are so that is the disadvantage with it also another disadvantage you are handling a lot of sea water lot of quantity of sea water many a times what can happen is that might lead to corrosion and uh, since you are having high acidic you know high acidic exhaust which you are handling after some point of time it might deposit at certain place and if the coating and all is not done it can lead to corrosion so that is also another factor which can happen also another disadvantage which is there is the changeover part you know you have to do the changeover for lsmgo so you have lsmgo being consumed and which is also very expensive kind of and uh, the advantages part is it is free you know it is cheap and it doesn't require much space compared to other systems less um, space is required less power in comparison to a closed loop system so still much better option depending upon the requirement also very easy to install okay so this is all about open loop system if you want uh, more details about this uh, i will i will try to write down the link below from where you can refer certain things you can just refer from net there are a lot of sites which are available there were many videos also which were available some of them are not uh, open right now or some of them links are not working right now earlier when i had done the study on that i had you uh, referred to some videos and also internet uh, you can go through marine insight and refer there also and there are some other websites also which you, where you will find all this so next we'll discuss about closed loops in uh, closed loop system what happens is we are using fresh water not sea water but fresh water so in what is happening is we cannot use direct fresh water because that is uh, that is no alkalinity or it doesn't have any neutralizing property so what we do we dose fresh water with chemicals and uh, we'll be using sodium hydroxide now this sodium hydroxide when it reacts with the exhaust it will get converted into or it will turn into sodium sulfate and we also have something called as process tanks so what happens is the liquid keeps on circulating in between 
uh, after measuring what we do is we try to dose additional chemicals we also try to uh, remove the dirty concentrate and store it on board and then give it a show and uh, depending upon whatever concentration which goes down accordingly you will have to dose into the system whatever it is required so it is just like how we do chemical treatment of boiler water and jacket water basically we will have to do the test here some here most of the times you will have the sensors doing it so accordingly you will have to be dosing it and uh, and you have something called as process tank or gravity tank sometimes which will help you you know in uh, so that there is no loss of suction additional water also has to be supplied so here what happens is the problem comes here is additional machinery is involved there are more number of tanks uh, more space is required more machinery is required and uh, installation is slightly difficult than earlier and uh, the obviously the cost will go up because you are involved with more things advantage is you don't have to worry about the alkalinity of the sea water and you can use it at any point of time the third one which we have is the hybrid system and as the name suggests we have open and closed loop system combined together now this kind of system what will happen is the idea behind doing this is you know to save the cost and to save the operational running cost first of all what happens in enclosed loop system there is more power consumed there is more number of tanks more chemical is used in open loop system it is like all free resources are used like your sea water is always available so using that and uh, so what happens in hybrid whenever you are in a place where you have sea water alkalinity good enough you will be using the open loop system wherever you have issues you know with the sea water alkalinity that time you a shift over or shift over or change over to closed loop system so what happens is whatever drawbacks which were there because of open loop system those are covered by using closed loop system and so with, because of that your you know the cost comes down cost running cost comes down and your drawbacks are reduced and then there is no fear of eco regions you don't have to change over fuel because when you go you can use closed loop system so that is good enough for you only thing you are again you have uh, the concentration tank and all will be there whatever dirty part which is there which is removed out of the system that has to be stored and then given ashore and process tanks all those tanks will be same only thing is the area which is required for installation is huge cost again installation cost will be higher and obviously you have more structure so it might cause your engine room to go hotter you know in comparison to the other two depends on the size of your engine room normally what happens is the blows which are designed are designed for your present engine room so accordingly they might have to add, uh, use an additional blower it depends upon the design and how the fitting is done so next we can discuss about dry scrubbers now in dry scrubbers what happens is we have you know pads which are available and these pads have to be fitted in the scrubber tower so when your exhaust is passing through that the exhaust contents you know the socks or the knocks will be absorbed and the pads will get you know converted into and we will have to later on replace the pads uh, now what exactly happens we will try to see and understand that part so normally what happens here is we use hydrated lime to remove the sulfur and uh, because we don't use water the scrubber towers are going to be on a hotter side obviously because of the cooling the temperature will drop down in other systems here there is no water used we only have pads and the design is such that the exhaust is made to pass through and get absorbed in the pads so whatever contents which can be absorbed will be absorbed in the pads and rest will go out now another advantage with that is uh, what can happen is the soot which i uh, normally might get deposited might get burnt off because of uh, high temperatures and any oil residues which are there might not remain now normally what happens is the sulfur dioxide which is there gets converted into calcium sulfate then the calcium sulfate because of air get gets oxidized and gets converted into calcium sulfate dehydrate which with water will turn into gypsum gypsum is basically used as a manure in many places so it the you know the product which comes out can also be used you know or can be sold and maybe some revenue can be brought back but the initial cost which is there of the pads is very high the cost of the pads is high and the problem with the pads is 
they might not be available at each and every point and each and every place depending upon what kind of scrubbers you are using and uh, that is one of the problems which you can have and uh, if, if you are having a longer voyage then you might have a lot of space requirements which might be uh, required okay because suppose you have two three ports after which only you can have the inventory or you can have the supply of pads and you might your inventory might not uh, run till the point of time or you then it can create a problem for you so obviously as per the design it consumes very less power but it does uh, weigh more so here it can balance it out now depending here i just spoke about the sulfur dioxide so depending upon now uh, different pads which i use you can also reduce your nox so that is a very good advantage just by fixing two different types of pads with just one scrubber tower you can tackle two things with one thing one biggest advantage is there is no oil residue which can remain because of the high temperatures which are there it gets burnt off and obviously gypsum obtained is a product which can be sold off as a as a you know as a fertilizer or as a construction sometimes in constructions also they can use those things disadvantage i would say space requirement is high especially for the storage of the pads which are there because the space might not be available at each and every point pads are very costly the concentrates which are used are very expensive so i hope this is a, um, i hope this is little bit information which i have given you will will uh, be helpful I will try to have more details on open loop system. If I get, I will make a video on that. Till that point of time, be safe and take care. Best of luck.